the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 330, 1 Corinthians 12 to 14. What is a Christian? Although there are diverse gifts, eventually it is God who provides them, and their usage is for harmony and benefit of the church. First point, Paul taught the people to use their special talents given by God to contribute towards the church rather than to create a division. The Corinthian church had a question regarding God-given gifts, and so Paul replied that the core of these gifts was to confess that Jesus is Christ. Paul moreover explained that God gave humans gifts for their well-being. Although everyone's gifts differ, they all came from God and were used for God and were all in the end the same. God gave humans gifts and also a community so that we can all work together to do God's work. The Corinthian church had a misunderstanding about gifts. Thus, Paul explained that although each person was given different gifts, everyone's unique and individual gifts were united in God. With their gifts, they were all to fellowship and serve God with a unified heart. Second point, Paul taught that Christians were connected to Jesus Christ, who was the head of the church. Paul used the parable of the body and mind in order to explain why the Corinthian church members were to cooperate with each other. Paul hoped that they would serve each other in Christ. Paul therefore used the parable of the body and mind in order to explain the relationship between Christ and the church. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. Third point, Paul taught that the core of love was to practice it in daily life. When Paul heard that the members of the Corinthian church quarreled with the issue of the gifts given by God, he tried to correct their way of thinking by helping them understand that the best gift was love. Paul told them to eagerly desire the great gifts. The great gift mentioned here was indeed love. At the time, the Corinthian church members, as well as Christians and the whole, believed that the following abilities were precious. First, the ability of dialect and prophecy. Second, the ability to make a miracle. Third, the ability of age. And fourth, the ability to be a martyr. However, all these abilities were missing its core if they were not carried out with love for God and for neighbors. Paul explained the characteristics of love. True love was to be implemented in daily life. Later on, St. John also defined what love meant. Fourth point, Paul taught further about the special talent given by God and how to use it for the church community. Paul continued to teach the Corinthian church about gifts. He first taught them to long for prophecies. Second, to those who did not understand dialect, Paul explained through parables. If a pipe or harp is prayed, but there is no distinction in the notice, then no one will know what the tune is. On the same lines, if the sound of a trumpet cannot be heard properly before battle, that no one can prepare for war at the right time. Third, Paul taught that those who were given the gift of dialect were to pray for the gift of translation. Fourth, Paul gave a testimony about gifts. Paul moreover taught them about God's gift of dialect and prophecy and their purposes. He then told the church members to be full of wisdom and also taught them the purpose of dialect and prophecy as written in Isaiah. 
Paul compared them to how their ancestors did not listen to the words of the prophets, and so had to live under the rule of other nations. Thus, Paul advised the church to seek prophecy more so than dialect. Fifth point, Paul reminded the church members that God-given talents exist in order to establish and sustain the church. Paul told the Corinthian church to take care in establishing the order of the church. This involved using all the gifts for the church community. Concerning dialect and prophecy, Paul gave the following teachings. During dialect, there was to be a translator. When there was no translator, dialect was forbidden. Prophecy was likewise to be done one person at a time, and to take turns when another person spoke. There was to be order established regarding these matters. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.